when we meditate, we're, we're feeding the mind with good food. The mind feeds on its intentions, so we give it good intentions. This is healthy food. It strengthens the mind. We have the strength of conviction that our actions really do matter. They really do make a difference. And so we do our best to look after the mind, because the mind is where actions come from. And we clean up the mind. In the same way, if you got some food that had some dirt on it, you'd, get, you'd brush the dirt off, clean it. You don't want to eat the dirt together with the food. And then remember to stay with good food. It's so easy when a hunger attack comes on that you just grab whatever. And you have to remember, if you eat unskillful food, eat bad food, it's going to be bad for the mind. So you concentrate on just eating good food and then being more and more discerning, not only in the food you eat, but also how you eat it. We're looking for a happiness that doesn't cause anyone any harm. We're eating with manners. And we prepare our food well. And there's, in other words, we look after our concentration, we maintain it. Even as we go through the day, we try to stay with the breath. All of these things together strengthen the mind. And the fact that you're not harming anybody by the way you feed, that gives extra strength to the mind as well. You can look around, you're not, harp, you're not taking anything away from anybody, you're not abusing them. You're not forcing them to th do things that are unskillful, which is the case with so many ways of looking for happiness in the world. You're eating in a way that's totally harmless. So that gives a sense of lightness and buoyancy to the mind. That's where you're well fed, you eat with manners, you eat good food. And the mind is sure to grow healthy, healthy and strong. 